Hey YouTube, today's tutorial is going to be on how to clone yourself in Adobe Premiere Pro CS4. Alright, let's get started. So there's nothing really hard about this effect, it's just there's little bits and pieces that you need to make it actually work. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to film yourself on two different parts of the camera. Okay, so um, in this clip I have me just sitting on my couch reading a magazine or whatever and then um, below this clip I have me sitting on the other side of the room reading the newspaper so I have two clips called clone 3 and clone 4 the clone 4 is the clip where I am sitting on the right side so the clip where you're sitting on the right side of your camera needs to go in video 2 it has to go in video 2 or this won't work. And my clone 3 is me sitting on the left side of the room or camera. And that needs to go in video 1 or this won't work. Okay, so once that's done, you're going to need to obviously import your stuff into Premiere. And then drag all your things into your timeline and get them lined up like I have it right here. Once everything is lined up and you've made sure that you're good to go, you're going to want to go over to the left hand corner and where there's four tabs media browser info effects and history you're going to go into the effects tab and it'll give you presets audio effects audio transitions video effects and video transitions and open up video effects and scroll down to transitions open that up and it'll give you these five transitions and you're going to want to grab, grab linear wipe and drag it onto your clip in video 2 and yes it has to be in video 2 or this won't work so it's in video 2 now it's just the same looks the same and once it's in your video 2 clip go to effect controls it's uh, towards the top and if you have linear wipe in your clip then linear wipe will be in the video effects so you just open that up and right here there's a arrow a stopwatch and it says transition just click that and drag it over and you might be able to see that there's see a line dragging over right there and that's basically cropping so you're gonna the best thing to do is find a spot that there's a the, the lights kinda of the same color and you can't really see the light and this is where the whole you film yourself on different parts of the screen comes in handy because if you interfere with your line so say your line is right here if you go past that line then you won't be in the video anymore because it's cropped and if you go past if or like if this person goes past that line you won't be in the video anymore that's why I have to make sure that you're on different sides of the camera you can use tape you can put down a marker or just go on completely different sides of the camera that's what I did here so that's why it's really important that you stay on one side of the camera if you want this to look good another thing that you're gonna need to know when you're doing this is that the camera has to be steady you can put it on a tripod or a table or whatever but it has to be steady or else it the, you'll be able to see the crop line really easily. So once you have your transition uh, dragged over to where you want it, you'll have your clone. So my clone hasn't entered the video yet, but see, um, like I said earlier, um, when you're dragging the line over you want to find the best place where you you can't see it like if I put it right there you could probably see it but if I put it right there you can't see it at all so that's um, what you want to do to make it look really good so there's my clone he entered the video so now me and my clone are reading the newspaper and magazines and there's your basic clone effect just a little recap before the end of the video um, to make sure this works make sure all your stuff is lined up that the clip of you on the right 
is in video 2 and the reason I say that is because when you drag the line over you want to reveal the clip under it but if the clip of you on the right is under then you're just gonna make yourself on the left disappear and nothing will happen and it'll just pretty it won't work and the reason I say put the linear wipe on the clip in video 2 is so you can drag it over uh, the right way so yeah there's your clone effect I hope this helps so don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.